This is your daily dose of the ultimate all-in-one privacy coin, Apollo. Welcome to another mission update with your host, the blockchain braveheart, Colin Stone. I've got some crypto news on the way for you too, but first, let me transport you from the studio here in Scotland to the beautiful hill country of Blanco, Texas, where the Wild West crypto show is taking place in less than a month's time and time is running out to get signed up. If you've missed the event on a previous mission update, then fear not, there's still a chance to get yourself along. It has been the buzz of social media recently, and organizers are even hopeful it could be the world's largest crypto meetup ever. Let me give you some updated stats. At time of recording, more than 600 tickets have been sold already, 21 booths have been paid for by cryptocurrency companies like Apollo and Aircoins, and over 30 Apollo investors are currently set to fly in from the likes of Canada, Barbados and even South Africa. As I've said before, the Wild West Crypto Show is your opportunity to meet some of Apollo's cowboys and let me remind you once again of when and where this exciting event is taking place. April 6th, Pine Moor Old West Studio running from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., $20 entrance fee. It's as simple as that. It's a venue steeped in history with a saloon, general stores, and also a history of being used in movies and television. So it's sure to be memorable even just walking around the location. A reminder that some of the Apollo team will also be setting up camp at the Courtyard Austin University area, a few miles north of downtown Austin at 5660 North Interstate Highway 35. There are still tickets remaining for the event. Get yourself down there, don't miss out. On to some crypto news now, and over here in the UK, the government's financial conduct authorities just published its findings into the habits of crypto consumers here in Scotland. What they found is interesting, but hardly surprising. Read it for yourself on Cointelegraph. But to summarize, researchers discovered that many British consumers see crypto as get-rich-quick schemes whilst simultaneously failing to understand how they actually work. Does that surprise you? Is there still a general lack of understanding of the crypto world, even amongst consumers? Do let me know in the comments below. Sadly, that will have to do us for today, but of course, we are all over social media if you want to keep up with all the very latest from Apollo. I'm talking Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and much, much more. And thank you for watching, as well as for your comments, questions, sharing, and subscribing. I'll see you soon.